This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Dees joining us here Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weights. They don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show, broadcasting from the Major Mortgage Man Cave. Here's Jason Walker. Hey, what up? Happy Wednesday, Jason Walker Show. Presented by Capital Collision Center, Montana State Law says it is your vehicle, it is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. Coming up, Major Mortgage Man Cave, it is Wednesday, so that means that's what she said. Brought to you by Dinner's Done Rice. We check in with Alex Eshelman, the uh, SWX Montana, ABC Fox Montana sports reporter. We'll get her thoughts on the Cats and Grizz wins last weekend. And how big of a week is it for the Bobcats to have the bye? How much, uh, how important is it? talk to her and also soccer and football playoffs tough one for uh, Helena High last night we'll talk about that in a second also uh, still to come Scott Evans will join us Helena High football coach get his thoughts on the crosstown win also uh, he gets to see Gallatin Raptors for the first time ever in person as the Bengals host uh, Gallatin Friday night you can watch this on Facebook Twitter and YouTube you can listen on Podbean Network One Sports, TreasureStateRadio.com, and more. Our Twitter handle, at JayWalkerSports. You can also uh, f- uh, email us, or you can get a hold of us on the phone, 209-1267 as well. So, all right. Uh, we mentioned Helena High soccer losing last night at home, 1-0. A, uh, a goal from Olivia Collins in the 34th minute getting it done, knocking out the Bengals and propelling Gallatin soccer to the championship where uh, they will play at uh, the Raptors at Billings West Friday night at 6 p.m. Amen Park. Or Amen Park down there in the Magic City. That's cool. Uh, tough one for uh, the girls of Helena High, but... Which is two years in a row, losing in the championship last year one nil, and then losing this uh, this one. Uh, let's see here. We know Columbia Falls is going to be at Whitefish for playoff action, championship in A this week, and we know that Laurel and Billing Central girls will be playing in Class A in the boys championship. It will be Glacier, which upset Bozeman, taking on Hellgate. So Hellgate gets back to the championship. Everybody's expecting, like in the Central or in the in the Class A girls, Central and and Laurel, but everybody's expecting Hellgate Bozeman boys, but not to be as Glacier pulls the upset. So they will play uh, the Wolfpack at Hellgate in the championship match in Double uh, A. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. We got on this day in history coming up too, and a couple from yesterday. We had a little bit of issues, but everything is uh, is back to normal. We hope. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, I wanted to bring this up because Troy Anderson is a stud. We've known that, but uh, announced today, the National Football Foundation named Montana State senior linebacker Troy Anderson one of 13 members of the 2021 NFS National Scholar Athlete Class presented by Fidelity Investments. Uh, now Troy receives an $18,000 postgraduate scholarship and is a finalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, which is known as the Academic Heisman. That will be selected from the 13 finalists and announced at uh, the 63rd dinner in Las Vegas at the Aria Resort and Casino December 7th. And... The two-time team captain from Dillon. Anderson has been third-team All-America, first-team All-Big Sky quarterback in 2018, 
In 2019, he earned first-team All-America honors, first-team All-Big Sky honors at linebacker. He yeah, played running back his 2017. He was the Big Sky freshman of the year. He's been linebacker this year. The dude's just, I mean, he can play anywhere. And he's super smart as well. Uh, at MSU, he has volunteered at the public schools, coached youth football camps, Habitat for Humanity, went to, uh, worked on projects in Poland and Montana, and worked with youth in Big Timber. Uh, that has battled cancer with Team Impact. So congratulations to Troy Anderson. Other finalists, uh, oh, and, and by the way, he's got a 3.91 GPA. Thomas Booker of Stanford, Mike Caliendo of Western Michigan, Sean Clifford, Penn State, Cameron Dukes, Lindsey Wilson, Patrick Fields from Oklahoma, Matt Henningsen of Wisconsin, who's got a perfect 4.0, Aiden Hutchison of Michigan, Josh King uh, U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, Charles uh, Charlie Kohler of Iowa State, Henry Litwin of Slippery Rock, uh, Sean Mahone of West Virginia, and Grant Morgan of Arkansas. So the only FCS finalist. There's also one from the NAI in Cameron Dukes, the Lindsey Wilson quarterback, the defending champs of the NAI. Other NFF scholar-athletes in Montana State history, Rich Brady in 1990, Derek Isaacson in 1989, uh, Anders Larson in 1988, and Ryan Johnson in 2002. So congratulations uh, there to Troy and Montana State. That's pretty awesome. Pretty darn cool. Uh, let's see. Jason Walker's show rolls on. We'll talk to Helena High football coach Scott Evans coming up. Also, Alex Eshelman will join us for That's What She Said in a little bit. I uh, hope you had a uh, good weekend. Hope you had a good Tuesday. Are you ready for Halloween? I don't know. It's coming up. I'll tell you what my costume is going to be this year when I uh, when we chat with uh, Alex Eshelman. So that's coming up. Um, looking forward to uh, to Halloween with the youngster and getting out and about this year. Last year was kind of hey, here's the folks. That's about it. <laughs> uh, the NAI released its preseason top twenty five. Coaches' polls for men's and women's basketball. Let's start with the men. Shawnee State, number one. Number two, St. Francis of Indiana. Southwestern Assembly of God University out of Texas, number three. William Penn, Iowa, number four. Loyola, Louisiana, number five. And then at number 10, jumping all the way to number 10 from the receiving votes category, the Carroll College men, the highest-ranked Frontier Conference team, the only-ranked Frontier Conference team in the preseason top 25. Tech receiving votes, and that's it. Uh, locally, regionally, you've got LC State at number 20, started or ended last year, number four. College of Idaho in there, uh, Oregon Tech. But yeah, Carroll College men, number 10 in the NAI preseason poll. And uh, last year's number one, Indiana Westland, debuts at number nine. In the NAI women poll, it is Westmont out of California, number one. Thomas Moore of Kentucky, number two. Campbellsville, Kentucky, three. Marion, Indiana, four. Southeastern, number five. Southeastern just swept Frontier Conference teams, Providence, Carroll, and Montana Tech over the last weekend. And they uh, debut the season at number five. Morningside, Iowa, number six. Carroll Women, number seven. And that is the highest-ranked Frontier Conference team. Others in the poll, you have Montana Western at 21. Providence receiving votes. And I believe that is it, is the quick look. Yep, it is. So Carroll Women, number seven. The Carroll Men, number 10. The highest-ranked Frontier Conference teams. And... Uh, Carroll women falling to Southeastern, but Providence did, Tech did. It's going to be a long season from here on out. I mean, you've got unbelievable competition these Frontier Conference teams are going to play. And really, it was Rochelle Sayers that got it started when she got to Carroll. You want to compete in the national stage? You better play national stage schedule, and they do. Uh, and the, the Carroll women definitely do, and then most of Frontier does as well now as well. So... Um, yep. There you go. Uh, let's see. What else did we, uh, 
did we miss? We did not make picks last week. Couldn't get on the air. Had troubles yesterday as well, but we got the uh, show aired. If you missed yesterday, go to jasonwalkershow.com. We had an unbelievable conversation with Michaela Boyette Fetzer, former Carroll College, uh, recurrent, well, she still plays softball. She was in a terrific, horrible car accident a year ago, October 23rd. And she joined the show yesterday to talk about the past year and her recovery and getting back on the softball field last weekend um, in fall, fall basketball, or fall softball, or rather. So if you missed that, do check it out at uh, jasonwalkershow.com. It's a pretty amazing uh, story from her. Uh, let's see, what else we got? I think that's about it where we wanted to get started. Did you see uh, World Series, Atlanta winning game one? I still have the Astros in six. Although, I mean, I love this. I love the fact that Atlanta's in the World Series after the MLB pulled the All-Star game because they were trying to be woke. And it was a joke. And now Atlanta Braves in the, in the World Series winning game one. And then uh, I love it that Houston's back. You can give Houston all the crap you want about quote-unquote cheating allegations. Boston did it. The Dodgers did it. Everybody's done it. Rob Manfred of the MLB commissioner was using, I think, Houston is the scapegoat. Everybody else was cheating as well. Houston just got caught, quote unquote. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, I become a fan of Annis Kantner. Tried to play at Kentucky, but there was the NCAA and all of its amazingness screwed that up. But Ennis Kantner, I think he's with Boston now, but he's really been speaking out against uh, about uh, China and how the NBA is in China's bed. And so Annis Kantner tweeted out today to the owner of uh, Nike, Phil Knight, let's book plane tickets for us. Let's fight a China together. We can try to visit these slave labor camps and you can see it with your own eyes. And then he texted uh, or uh, tweeted Jordan and uh, LeBron as well. It's a big statement from Ennis Cantner, and he's got a lot of support. And his shoes this year have been outspoken. So good job. And uh, by the way, Sue, the Royals cheated. Everybody in baseball cheated. Everybody in baseball cheated. It still cheats. They just have different ways of doing it. Uh, Royals winning the World Series, what, in 2015? Beating the Mets. By the way, today, the Mets won the World Series in 1986 on this date. They weren't cheating back then. They were just coked up and, and drunked up. There was a whole lot of, uh, a lot of uh, 86 Mets that uh, had some fun back in those days. But, all right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. And when we do, Helena High Coach Scott Evans will join us. But before that, that's what she said. Alex Eshelman will stop by. The Cats, the Grizz, both played in both one last week over Idaho schools. Grizz played this weekend. The Cats have the bye. How important of the bye week is it for the Cats health-wise? And also uh, we'll talk about uh, soccer and high school football as well. Alex Eshelman joins us. That's what she said. Next, coming up, Jason Walker Show. We're presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle, it's your choice. Where you have it repaired, choose Capital Collision Center. And I tell you what, I will choose it every day. Hopefully I'm not in a wreck every day, but the one time I was, I took it to Capital Collision Center. They fixed it right the first time. They updated me. It was like being part of the family of Capital Collision. They, I took it in the day after it was in the wreck. They had already taken pictures. They had already contacted both insurance companies and uh, had taken everything out of my hands. I'd had no need to worry. They updated me through texts and emails and calls of where my vehicle was in the, in the process of being um, fixed, and I have had no issues in the year plus that it's been done. They did it right. They did it great, and they'll do yours right the first time as well. Capital Collision Center on Euclid 
in Helena. Alex Eshelman next, Jason Walker Show. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle, and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Fall is officially here, and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Is a live look at the Kansas City skyline. Is that the old uh, railroad depot there, I believe? It is 86 right now in Kansas City. 
It is not 86 in Montana. Thanks to earthcam.com. Proud to be partners up with them. Oh, bringing us great shots. Good stuff. Scott Evans will join us coming up. Helena High Coach. As we get his thoughts on the uh, upcoming playoff game against Gallatin Friday night. Uh, also on this day in history, the walk-off, much more. There was a bunch of World Series won on this date, so uh, we'll have that. Um, look back at uh, a couple of things that happened yesterday as well. But it is uh, time for, well, this segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture. 1010 Dearborn Helena. We have a, a beautiful kitchen table downstairs. Uh, we got it at Rutgers Furniture. And you might have heard me talk about this before, but it's, uh, it's weird. Um, it's really cool, but it's weird because it doesn't have leaves. You remember the old style, like the leaves to extend it? No, the, the leaves are, it has it, but they're in the middle. So you pull the table apart and then all of a sudden it just like pops up like it's alien coming out of somebody's stomach. Like it's really kind of cool. Um, but you can get one at Rutgers Furniture because that's where we got it. It's got, you know, tables, a bench. Love it. Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Mentioned Scott Evans on the way and uh, much more, but it is time to check in uh, as Wednesday we do with Alex Eshelman, the ABC Fox Montana sports reporter, also SWX Montana sideline reporter for Bobcat football games, and get her thoughts on the Cats and Grizz Wig wins over the weekend and how important is the bye week right now, this week, for Montana State. It is brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. It is That's What She Said. We always hear from the guys. What about the ladies? Time for That's What She Said. Brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. Boom. All right, always a pleasure to, uh, to chat with our good friend, Alex Eshelman. And um, hey, <laughs> I love when you wave. It's like, hey, I'm actually here. It's not just a robot. Um, how was your weekend? Because you, uh, you saw another Bobcat victory. Uh, what is that, seven in a row now? Seven in a row, Jason. It's really exciting for Montana State football. And we had a handful of interviews Monday after that game with Vegan and Taylor Houseride and Freddie Banks. Excuse me, I've got some emails coming in here. Uh, I don't know. You're just popular. That, but, um, I think that the team's feeling really, really good with the place that they're at right now. I mean, how could you not? They're on a seven game winning streak. However, coach vegan did touch on quite a few times about the importance of having this bye week right now. Um, overall they're in good shape health wise, but there are a few guys that need some extra time to recover and all of them really needed some extra time to uh, recover, especially now as we're approaching the end of October, right before Eastern Washington. So Big game in two weeks. Big yeah, game. It definitely is. Uh, and I know Coach has talked about the bye week coming at, at, at the perfect time. Yeah. You don't want to lose that momentum, but I think this is a team that just keeps rolling week by week, so it's just a, another week. But when you talk about the injuries, Chase Benson, um, Callahan O'Reilly, obviously mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Thomas there in the secondary, those are the three big ones that uh, need to be firing on all cylinders on that defensive side of the ball in two weeks. Definitely, Jason. And Vegan touched on that as well. He just said that we're going to need all hands on deck coming into Eastern Washington. And um, it, it'll be it'll be a really big game. Obviously, Eric Berrier, I'm really excited to go to Cheney and watch him play. Um, that said, Montana State's defense, top of the chain. I mean, it's one of the best in the Big Sky, one of the best in the FCS. So it'll be interesting to see that matchup, and it'll also be able to see their defense go up against Matthew McKay and our offense as well. That'll be fun to, uh, to chat about that next week, especially because Eastern Washington coming off that loss at home to Weber, right. which surprised me a little bit. Um, but we'll, like I say, we can, we can chat more next week about that. But how did the offense look? I know Isaiah had a decent week, but um, – it looks like there's they, they just I guess this is a good time for the week to, to reset everything because that offense has struggled down uh, the last couple of games. Yeah, I think you're right, Jason. And I think that, listen, we got a first year offensive coordinator in Taylor House, right? We've got a whole new situation kind of going with that offense. And Coach House talked about that. He said, you know, in in that game against Weber, 
I didn't make the best decisions that I could have made too. Nobody was necessarily perfect in that area. I do think that in this win against Idaho State, it was slow in the beginning. I mean, Isaiah Fonse definitely carried the offense mm-hmm. there for, for the majority of the game. And then the pass game ended up picking up in the second half. Um, but the biggest thing, first of all, I think these guys just need a break. First, first and foremost, uh, both the offense and the defense need a break a little bit. They need a second to regroup. And I also think that even though it was slow in the first half, they were able to make those adjustments and pick up the pass game a little bit in the second half. Um, it's interesting, Jason. I don't know. What did you? What were some of your initial thoughts? Because I think they're doing well. I mean, I, I don't think there's really any overall complaints, especially with having Isaiah Fonz. I think overall Matthew McKay is doing well. Again, I do think that he needs a well-deserved break at this point. He's stepped in to some to fill some big shoes in that role um, with the new OC and Coach House has done a great job overall. Oh, I just think these guys need a break. What do you think? No, I think mentally more than anything they need it. But um, right. But you're right. I mean, the last couple of weeks, it's it's taken a while for that offense to get, you know, it, it ground under its feet, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe, you know, teams are also, they're playing better teams, which is helping because they're, you know, better teams on the other side have better schemes for you. So that's, uh, you know, always a thing as, as to look at as well. But, hey, seven straight wins, you can't. What are you going to pick on it? And, you know, it's a, they keep winning. And I guess that's really, right. that's what matters the most for, for fans. Uh, before we move over to the other side of the hill, Troy Anderson today getting a big, uh, um, I, I don't want to say award, but nomination right now is he's one of the uh, 13 of the NFF National Scholar Athlete class, mm-hmm. which is a, a pretty big deal in, uh, in all of college sports. Take me through this a little bit. So... To add on to that, 13 athletes in the country, and he's the only one in the FCS who's gotten that honor. Uh, We were able to speak with him earlier this morning, Jason, and he, Troy's just, I asked him, I said, how have you been able to remain so humble through all of your accolades and all the attention and spotlight on you, both on and off the field? And and in an era where it's really kind of rare to see I don't want to say rare, but there's not as many athletes, I would say, that stay completely humble and don't worry about all the outside noise and all they care about is just the fact that they love playing football and they just want to go win with their team and do a good job in the classroom and just be a good person. And that's what Troy Anderson is. And of course, he's not the most lively person when it comes to interviews, but that's just who he is. And you can see that He's just genuine. He is who he is. He's a good old Montana boy from Dillon, Montana, who works hard in the classroom, on the field, out in the community. He's a good person. He has, he's level-headed. And it's, it's really cool and kind of inspirational to see a guy at his age have that much maturity and leadership um, and – he just keeps making Montana State look better and better. I mean, bringing up the group average, what can you say? Exactly. So he gets an $18,000 post-grad scholarship. He's a finalist for the William Campbell Trophy, which is known as the Academic Heisman. Uh, that will right. be given out um, in December. Uh, it's interesting. There is a kid from the NAI, the defending national champs, Lindsey Wilson, on that list. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. But. But he's one of five Bobcats that have ever gotten this. Rich Brady, Derek Isaacson, Ryan Johnson, who was a beast, and Anders Larson, good dude as well. So congratulations to Troy. Uh, we talked with Alex Eshelman, ABC Fox Montana sports reporter, SWX Montana sideline reporter as well. All right, let's go over to the other side of the hill. Grizz got a big win on the road, a much-needed victory over Idaho. You could mm-hmm. expect it was coming, but uh, Chris Brown's playing better and better as the more reps he gets under his belt and you could see that start to emerge last week with Idaho. Definitely, Jason. And like we've always talked about, I don't care what you say. Of course, they've had some injuries. They've had some bumps in the road. So is everyone else. You can't count Montana out. Mm-hmm. I mean, these guys are good. It's one of the be- better teams in all of the FCS. And 
they've got that Montana grit and want to win. And I just don't see them finishing out this year in an unsuccessful way. Um, and also shout out to one of my friends who is on the team. So funny enough, Justin Belknap, who plays for the Grizz now, uh, had a great game against Idaho. And we actually started out at the University of Arizona together. We're actually the same class. Mm. Um, so it's, I will say I do have a connection. I feel a connection to that program uh, because of him and, I do think that, like you said, big win for the Grizz. And I think that before that, that loss to Sac State, I, I'm not in Missoula, so I can't directly speak on the feel. I would imagine that they're feeling, feeling a little knocked down there after that Sac State loss, but I can only imagine that with this big win against Idaho that it puts them right back and, okay, let's go. This is go time here. Yeah, well, it, it is. I mean, you have four games to go. You've got two of them on the road. You're back home this week, but the, the next couple are on the road. They're not going to be easy before that Cat Grizz game, but this is a team that, uh, like you said, they're not going to give up. They're not going to tuck tail and run, and the healthier they get, the better they are, and you can see that, and, and, and it helped with Chris Brown playing well, too. So um, right. everybody thought the season was over when Cam Humphrey went down, but not quite the case, my friends. Um, Alex Ashman, our guest here, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. All right, let's uh, switch over to soccer. Big upset last night. Gallatin knocking off the top-ranked Helena girls, or top-seed Helena girls, 1-0. Olivia Collins getting the lone goal in the 34th minute. Uh, Gallatin now goes to play at West on Friday night for the championship. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, definitely, Jason, and very exciting for the Gallatin girls as I've been able to cover them all season long here. Olivia Collins has been a, has been a constant to and a, a constant piece to uh, Gallatin's success this entire season. So for able to watch her have that um, success in such a important game was pretty cool to see. And on the other hand, unfortunately for the Bozeman area, Bozeman boys first in the East. Uh, got upset by Glacier. Glacier boys uh, took the win over the Hawks last night, two to one. They'll be going to the championship. Yeah, it's uh, it's that time of the year. I mean, you've got we got district volleyball starting this week, which we're not going to chat right. about, um, and then the all class volleyball tournament coming up next month. But you also had the Cats and Grizz volleyball last night. Holy cow! Um, oh. Seems to be a some controversy down there at Schroyer Gym. The Grizz get the win in five, but it was not without some controversy. That is true. <laughs> and gosh, it was yesterday was one of those days, Jason, where it really set in that I was in the end of October going into November stage mm -hmm. of my work life right now. I had to do something for Football in the morning, we got a student of the week coming out today. Um, and then I go to soccer, semifinal soccer. From there, I go to the Cat Grizz game for all the wild at Schroyer. And, of course, it goes all the way to five. I was like, oh, my God, this is the <laughs> longest day. <laughs> but it was worth it. And that brawl the wild rivalry, volleyball specifically, is so exciting to watch. I feel like it is like that, and the intense atmosphere and energy between the two teams is like that every single time, and it literally came down to match point in the fifth set. Which is nice. And it was, it was interesting, and it was sad for the Bobcat fans, um, but it worked out for the Lady Grizz in that it Montana State ended up getting – getting the win initially with Jojo Raddick, Bozeman native, sealing the deal there. But the, the play was reviewed, and they didn't end up getting the point. It was 15-all, and Lady Grizz were able to pull out the victory and get their first-ever mainline trophy uh, within that rivalry. So I was, it was cool to watch them experience that and get their bring home the first-ever mainline trophy for them. But for Montana State, too, of course, you, you're – your feelings had to be hurt a little bit for those Bobcat fans because they showed up and it was an intense atmosphere and it came down to the final point. But that's why we watch yep. Cat Grizz, right? Well, and it's great too because I used to be a PA announcer for volleyball down there. And Schroyer Gym, it's a perfect, perfect setting for volleyball. 
you know, totally. 1,500 people. It's packed. It's loud. And that was, was that your first experience with fans for a Cat Grizz event? Yes. Yeah. Yes, what, yeah, it yeah. was. I haven't even thought about that. It was. Yeah. Well, welcome to the, welcome to the family now, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jason. I think um, I, I think I'll really, really feel it when I'm at Cat Grizz football. Yeah. But that was a very, very good introduction into what that rivalry was like. Um, I will say that because it is a small, you know, of course, it's smaller, less people. There were more Cats fans in there just because mm-hmm. home field advantage and what or home court advantage. Um but there was a good group of Grizz fans there as well that had no problem making some noise oh, when yeah. they when they pulled off that win. Absolutely. Uh, I know you got to run, but uh, what's coming up, Bobcat Insider, this week? Actually, no Bobcat Insider because it's a buy. Oh. So we are taking you guys a break. Are lazy. That said, our cornball commercial that we did at the very beginning of the year. Um, I don't know if you ever saw it, but it's me coming in with all my summer gear with my golf bag and my fishing hat. And, uh, and Zach Mackey kind of looks at me and is like, what, what are you doing? We've, we got to get back to work here. Um, we are doing a second commercial, so mm-hmm. stay tuned. Okay. Uh, you kind of get a week off because you need it too. We, and we were talking about that, Jason. I mean, it's, this is my second year being in Bozeman, but my first year experiencing all of the sports. Yep. Um, and it's been a lot for sure. It's been so exciting and so worth it. And, and so many positives that come out of, out of it, but yes, I am very excited to just kind of lay low a little bit this week. And we've got Halloween this week. I'll, I'll throw a wig on actually my coworkers and I, Noah Schmick, Madison Atkinson, we're being the cast of the morning show for Halloween. Oh, so. nice, nice. What are you, are you going to dress up for I Halloween? Am. I am. So a couple years ago, uh, having the little one, you know, it's, it's very nice. So the right. couple years ago, we went as um, the Emu and Doug from the Liberty Mutual commercials. Cute. Yeah. So I was, she was the emu and I was Doug and it was great because I got to just have the mustache, which was awesome, which my wife hates. But, um, oh my gosh. last year wasn't a lot because of COVID, but then this year we're going, I don't know if you know, superhero girls on, um, it's like Netflix and Amazon, but it's, it's, it's a really cool show. Wonder Woman. It's all these, like the, the girls in high school, like Supergirl, Wonder Woman, whatnot. They're all I in high school. I love it. So I'm, she is, uh, Little Winnie is um, Batgirl. My wife is Supergirl, and I'm Poison Ivy. I love that. I'll send you, well, I'll send you a picture. I'm watching that show then. It's actually really good. Uh, my oldest, <laughs> she likes it. She watches down in Auburn, so she likes it. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have to send you a picture of me in my poison ivy dress and red wig. So. Well, you are a good family <laughs> member for, for participating in that. And next, this time next week, I want that showcased right here on this show. I okay. need to see a picture. Oh, I will. I will show it. Don't worry. I'm not afraid to show myself in dresses. It's happened before. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, have fun this week. I know you got some volleyball to shoot. By the way, Gallatin football looking really good. They're at Helena High this week for the playoffs. That should mm-hmm. be a good game on Friday night as well because uh, Garrett dalkey has been getting the job done. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Dalkey brothers oh. are so fun to watch, yep. both, both Noah and Garrett. Um, and I think, you know, I think they've had that that brotherhood relationship for a long, long time, both in sports and, of course, off the field. For them to have this moment together, I think, is pretty special. And I think we can all relate to that. If you've had a sibling on the same team, it's – it makes it that much more special. So I'm happy to be able to watch them have that this year. It'll be fun on Friday. Hey, enjoy the weekend. We'll talk next week. Um, Have fun on Halloween. Don't eat too much candy, though. I will not. Okay. I will not. I will keep it low key. I got all. I, I would used to make myself sick eating candy oh, when course. I was younger, and I think I got that out of the system. So we're just we're not going to go there this year. Good. Hey, real quick, it is. Um, <laughs> what is it? It's something about Beer Day today. It's American Beer Day today, or something like that. Are you oh. Amer- Yeah, National American Beer Day today. Are you a beer ga- girl? Blue Moon. Okay. 
And yes, so kind of. I mean, I don't know if, if Blue Moon's like a fruity, yeah, of course, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. type of beer. But yes, no, beer is, is uh, I wouldn't say that's my go-to. Unfortunately, I would say probably tequila is more my go-to. Wow. But, but, <laughs> but beer, I hate to say it, we're talking about it. I would say that's more <laughs> my go-to. But beer is a great choice as well, Jason. So you use beer as your chaser is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, we're going to have we're going to we're going to have some fun someday down the road. Hey, uh have a good weekend, Alex. Uh have fun on the, you know, the time off and we'll talk next week. Thanks so much, Jason. Always a pleasure. Happy Halloween. Can't wait to see the picture of you and your family. That is Alex Eshelman joining us Jason Walker show. That's what she said brought to you by Dinner's Done Right. Dinner's Done Right is uh your go-to if you need a meal in a hurry, if you need the salad bar, which I highly recommend, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, you need a single meal for that night, they'll get it done. You need grab and go, done. You need something frozen for down the road, done. Cheesy beef and noodle bake this month. Chicken parmesan sh- uh, soup, pre- uh, pasta primavera. You got Southwest roll-ups, cranberry glazed chicken, tangerine chicken teriyaki, honey mustard meatloaf. That's just to name a couple. Get a hold of Dinner's Done Right in Helena. Uh, you register online by phone or go in store. You can email and order it online, like I said. You, uh, you get personalized labels so you know which is yours. The, the staff will assemble your meals. You just pay and pick up at the door, in store or right next to it, uh, like curbside. Um, and then you just grab your meal and thaw it. And Dinner's Done Right celebrating 14 years we appreciate dinner's done right. Vicky and the gang over there do a fantastic job bringing us. That's what she said. We'll take a break. We'll come back. This uh, segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. When we return, we'll talk football with Helena High Coach Scott Evans. Hang on. Jason Walker Show. Coming right back. Everyone knows about Dinner's Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinner's Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122. Equal housing lender. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work. Then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces. Stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. 
Call State Farm Agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Fall is officially here, and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you. I had no idea what that was. Oh. Earthcam.com bringing us a live look at the Kansas City skyline. I don't know why. I, always, I like going to oh. Kansas City. It's a great town. Great food. Ugh. And my son's back in Kansas, which is awesome. So appreciate uh, Earthcam.com bringing us those great uh, looks. Still to come on this day in history, the walk-off, and uh, much more. We'll tell you what's coming up tomorrow, too. But it is time to check in with football. And Helena High has got a big football game coming up on Saturday night, as they take, or Friday night, rather, as they host the Raptors of Gallatin in the first round of the playoffs. And joining us now to talk about it is the head coach, Scott Evans. He joins us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. Just 21, uh, eight, 28 combined points scored all game. But give me your takeaways because uh, the Bengals victorious. Well, that's the first one we'll take away from the victorious Bengals. That's number one. But, you know, it's a good game. I, we saw what they're doing. You know, they have a great D-line, a good job up front. And, you know, we have battled all night with that. And our guys battled back defensively. I thought we played a great game defensively. And I thought our big guns, our, our senior guys stepped up and, stepped up the challenge and took on the game. And that's kind of the difference makers. Our, our seniors were leading us in the way. Well, when I talked to Coach Mahelis yesterday, that's what he said, too, was that especially the, the defensive – well, the, the battle was won really at the trenches. It usually is. It's cliche. But he said Forrest Swirl really caused some issues for uh, for the Bruins just, or last week. Yeah, you know, it was, it, we're, we're kind of surprised, but they're excited to block him one on one, and I don't think that's a good deal anytime. So uh, we kind of put a challenge out to him that if they're going to block you one on one. You better make a lot of plays, and he did and stepped up to it. And I can't be happier for a kid to make so many plays for us. It just helps out his teammates. So if somebody's going to try to block him one on one, then I guess we'll take that all day and just kind of go home with that. 
Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll see what Gallatin has in store for you when we talk about them here in a second. But uh, continuing, you mentioned your seniors, uh, Caden Hewitt, Chase McGurn, a couple of big uh, touchdown connections there. But that offense just uh, just rolled along and, and, and really seemed to take what the what the defense gave them and then got the win, got the big plays when they needed to. Yeah, you know, we're not going to force the run if we don't have to, and we're not going to force the pass unless we have to. And they gave us opportunities in the passing game, so we took advantage of it. And we weren't running the ball particularly well at that time, and they did a good job of showing us up. So we decided, you know, we better just throw the ball around, and we got a guy who can do it, and we got some receivers who can make some plays. So, I mean, it worked out that way. And that's kind of been our mantra all year is go with what's working and just stick with it. So if we throw the ball 50 times, we'll throw it 50 times. If we have to run it 50 times, we'll do that as well. Scott Evans, our guest here, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. He coaches the Helena High Bengals, the uh, Bengals at home this weekend. And you and I have talked for a year. You've never gotten to see the Gallatin Raptors up close and personal. I've actually seen them more in person than you have, and, and that will change this Friday when you get to host them at Vigilante. But uh, you finally know their colors, right? I, I do. You know, they, they got more jerseys than Oregon. I mean, they got black, they got white, they got blue. I mean, it, they got a pretty good budget, you know. We're in a low red district here at Helen High, so we don't get those brand new dudes all the time. So they look pretty slick. They uh, they do. They also have some pretty good players, and it starts with uh, their quarterback Garrett Dalkey, who uh, has thrown for five or more touchdowns in three straight weeks uh, since sliding into that starting quarterback role. Uh, they do have uh, another quarterback who's played most of the season, but he's on the defensive side. But tell me about Dalkey because uh, he doesn't look like he's um, he doesn't look like he missed a game at quarterback at all. No, you know, he's done a good job. He stepped in there, and they made the change a couple of weeks ago, and they, they had to get some more pass game in there, and he stepped up, and he's finding his brother every other down right now. And He's doing a good job of controlling that offense and throwing the ball around the guys that he needs to, and hopefully we can just keep him in the pocket and contain him and do some good things to him. So we'll give him some different looks and see what happens. This is a team, too, the Raptors, that utilizes their tight end a lot, maybe more so than most double-A schools. Uh, but Ryland Schlepp's a, a legit threat out there, and how do you guard him? Um, because they can run the ball, too. Yeah, you know, we looked at it. We we kind of had the same animal group last week. We thought the Opus kids were one of the best tight ends in the state. I mean, I, and I think we did a good job of containing him, so we'll do a little bit different things with Schlepp kid, take care of him as best we can as well. But, you know, good players make plays sometimes, and, we just got to contain them from big play. So if we can keep them under, under wraps, tackle them right away, I think we'll be in good shape. So our plan of action is not necessarily change what we do is we make people change to us. So that's kind of what we're going to do defensively. Uh, I, like I said, I did see this team up close and personal a couple of weeks ago. They lost to Bozeman, but uh, this is a, a very good football team in its second year that seems to be making strides at the right time heading into the playoffs. And uh, that's a dangerous team to anybody, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, they got that taste, you know, they, their first couple of years, the first year out, they didn't have a very good season. This year they're in the playoffs. And so they've upped their program. And Hunter Chandler's done a good job with the guys down there and getting them prepared for the games. And I think as the year went on, they got better. So, I, I mean, it's a challenge for sure. You know, it's not one of those things that we walk into not think thinking lightly of them because we know they're a good football squad and they gave, like I said, you, you we're at the Bozeman game and they gave Bozeman a heck of a run and came down to the very last play where they threw an interception at the end of the D lineman. So they have a cha we have a challenge ahead of us for sure. Talk about their defense too because um, they play a lot of guys both ways. They play very fast and very um, in in control, and you you know what that means the, um, when I say that, but they played really well on that defensive side of the ball. Yeah, they, they try to exploit gaps and blow them up defensively and go after you. So they're going to do some things with their D-line and do some twists and things like that. And they get in your faces coverage-wise, and it's the same thing that Hunter did when he was over at Bo at Bozeman High. You know, get in your face with DBs and see if you can break their coverage. So he takes, takes some risks, and his guys respond to it. So, you know, he's definitely one of those guys who wants to attack you and not wait, sit back and wait. So we definitely have a challenge ahead of us on that side. How nice is it to be home for the playoffs? You know, I love the fact that number one is we're at home, sit there and we do what we want and we can control our whole thing. You know, it's a little bit earlier 
it's a little later for me because we don't have an afternoon JV game. So I have to figure out to fill my time up for the <laughs> afternoon on Friday. So it's a little different for me. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Uh, but you still get to do the walk over. You still get to do the Bengal walk. You still get to do everything as normal, which is, which is always a great thing, especially uh, being at home. You don't have to travel and you're in the playoffs, which makes it even better. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's, that's your goal every season is get in the playoffs and get your team in a position and contend for a state title. So we're in that position now and we'll take it game by game and hopefully we get a four game win streak going in the end of the year too. Oh, hey, well, that would be uh, five in a row, right? T- that would be eight, eight. Well, we take eight in a row. Eight in a row, eight right. Yeah. Be. Yeah. Eight in a row. See, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, no, I take that. Hey, your Western boys are up in Northern uh, Saturday. I'll, I'll be on the call on SWX Montana for that. Um, but this is a Northern team that just beat, uh, Eastern Oregon, are you are you scared for the Western boys? Is Northern you looks know, good. Well, I'll tell you what, Northern's getting better every week. I, I talked about that a couple weeks ago, and I, I think they're doing a good job up there, getting their kids prepared for a game. And you know, I think Coach Van Dees has added something to that staff up there, and I think they're getting they're getting away around it. But I, I'll take my Western boys. You know, I, <laughs> I've always got to root for Coach Van Dees, no matter where he's at. But at the same point in time, I think the dogs will come out all right. Hey, did, did, is high school overtime the same as college, or is it still the original start at the 25 every time? It, well, it's 10 yards. It's Montana playoffs, so it's 10 yards in a cloud of dust. Oh, that's right, yeah. Here in the state of Montana. So it's, you know, it's different than anything else. And you go to Montana overtime, and people get a little bit estranged. They don't understand it. So, it, yeah, it's for the 10-yard line still, and you just go from there. Well, it was weird last week watching college. Uh, half the people I don't think, well, nobody in the stands knew what was going on. I don't know if half the people on the sidelines knew what was going on because after the third, <laughs> you just got to go for two point conversions. And it's just, it's, it was, it was strange. Yeah, no, I had one of my players was up there watching the game and he said, five overtimes coach. Holy cow. <laughs> he goes, it's something else to watch. I said, yeah, that's a long game for a guy. Yeah, no, it is. It's supposed to speed it up, but it didn't. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, all right. So, Give me something to tease Ryan Norse about this weekend. Well, you, you got, he's got to lengthen the stride a little bit. He's got those short little stubby legs. He doesn't move his arms very well, so we've got to get him going a little bit faster. The <laughs> sideline movement's not very fast. I'll see what I can do. Oh, my gosh, you guys are the best. Uh, hey, good luck Friday. Uh, get a win so we're talking next week because I don't want our conversations to just come to an end. So <laughs> I'm planning on another month of these. Well, I appreciate that. I do, too. Okay. Uh, so get a win. We'll talk next Wednesday, same time, same place, and uh, we'll talk about the quarterfinals. How's that? But good luck against Gallatin. Appreciate it, Jason. You take care. That is uh, Scott Evans joining us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline, the uh, head football coach at Helena High. He's done a great job over there, a lot of fun. Uh, all of our guests appear via the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. It's, uh, it's more than just a bundle. It's your home, it's your life, it's your auto, and Mike understands that. Get a hold of Mike Miller State Farm in Helena. All right, uh, let's do On This Day in History. It is brought to you by Mountain Nutrition at 3222 Centennial Drive. They have amazing teas and shakes. Uh, today's tea was the, uh, was it the Frankenstein? It was green apple and grape. And uh, yummy. Yeah, make sure, you, you stop in. I mean, 21 vitamins and proteins in your teas, in your shakes, an energy uh, metabolism booster in your teas, Kids teas as well, kids shakes as well. I mean, it's just amazing, and uh, I love it. Mountain Nutrition. Uh, check them out on Facebook, MTN Nutrition. On Instagram, MTN Nutrition MT. If you uh, check in on one of those two places, you'll get a dollar off your tea or your shake as well. Uh, today is uh, October the 27th. It is Navy Day. The Navy founded on this date is the Continental Navy. Uh, it is National Black Cat Day. It is Civics Day. And uh, one thing yesterday we, we didn't get to was National Day of the Deployed. So thank you to all of our armed forces uh, serving anywhere. Uh, my son actually just returned back to the States, got back to Fort Riley, Kansas today after spending the last seven months deployed. Glad to have him home safe. Uh, he now heads off to uh, a school to become a sergeant, which is really, really cool. Uh, this date in 1963, Detroit Red Wings right winger Gordie Howe scored the 544th career goal in a loss. He ties Maurice Richard all-time for the regular season record. Uh, 1985, Billy Martin fired for the fourth time by the Yankees. Also in 1985, Kansas City Royals beat the St. Louis Cardinals 4-3 in the 82nd World Series. On this date 
1986 in the 83rd World Series. The New York Mets beat the Boston Red Sox in seven. 1991, Minnesota Twins beat the Atlanta Braves 1-0 in 10 innings in Game 7 uh, at the Metrodome. Jack Morris going the distance. 1992, Don Baylor appointed the first manager of the Colorado Rockies. You, uh, the Yankees beat Atlanta to sweep the 1999 World Series on this date. Anaheim beat the Giants in Game 7 to win the Anna, uh, Angels' first title, 2002. Boston beat St. Louis in Game 4 at Bush Stadium to sweep the Cardinals and win the first title since 1918 for the Red Sox this date in 2004. 2006, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals beat the Detroit Tigers to win the 10th title in franchise history. They've won again since then. And on this date a year ago, the Dodgers cheated their way to a win over Tampa Bay at Globe Life Field to win the first title in 32 years. Uh, 1881, yesterday, the gunfight at the OK Corral. Happy birthday today, Dick Trickle, race car driver, was born in uh, Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Dick Trickle. 1992 on this date, Tipper Gore, the wife of Al Gore, admitted to covering the clock on her VCR with black tape so she wouldn't have to watch it blink because she couldn't figure out how to set the time. Remember VCRs? (laughs) Uh, Happy birthday to Isaac Singer, born on this date in 1811. He invented the sewing machine. It is Teddy Roosevelt's birthday, the 26th president of the United States, born in 1858 on this date. In 1940, John Gotti was born, the mafia head of the Gambino family. So there you go. That is on this day in history. It is brought to you by Mountain Nutrition, 3222 Centennial Drive, between BMC and Auto Concepts in Helena. Great place to stop. Open 7 to 2, Monday through Friday. Almost at the end of the show, what did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. Hope you have a, a wonderful Wednesday tonight and, uh, and a great dinner, whatever you're doing. And if you need something still for dinner, make sure you stop by Cafe Zydeco on Euclid in Helena. Uh, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky, like I said, it is the absolute best place to get Cajun food this side of, well, Louisiana or anywhere, New Orleans for sure. Um, I love Cafe Zydeco. You've heard me talk about the catfish. It's so good fried. Mm, So good. Uh, Let's see here. What else we got? Did we miss today? I don't think we got much uh, missed. I think we took care of everything. Uh, Dylan, oh, it's that time of the year. Somebody's going to be putting out those mileage charts for the playoffs. Uh, hopefully they're up by tomorrow so we can read them. Dylan's got to go over 500 miles to Sydney. And that's one far one. But, man, that's a good one. I always love this time of the year. you got the World Series. You got you got playoffs for football and volleyball and soccer in the state. We'll crown state champs on Saturday in soccer. Friday in girls soccer, double A, as uh, Gallatin plays at Billings West under the lights. A hey, happy birthday, one more. My mom. It's my mom's birthday today, so happy birthday, mom. I won't give her age. She's older than me, though. Thanks to uh, Scott Evans, Alex Eshelman for joining us today. Tomorrow we'll talk strongman competition coming up this week in East Helena and a whole lot more. Plus we'll have predictions for the uh, first round of the playoffs. It is American Beer Day today. Crack open a cold one. Drink responsibly. But have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. Yep, just cracking one right there. There you go. American Beer Wednesday. It's American Beer every day, right? Jason Walker Show brought to you by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle. It's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. We'll do it again tomorrow at 4. Go to jasonwalkershow.com if you missed anything. Got to start the music again. The Jason Walker Have Show a good is one. produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.